What is up guys, it is Alex here and we are back today with a expensive squad builder. It, like I said, it is literally the most expensive squad I've ever made. I mean, um, I usually don't go for um, high rated squads like this, I like to play with silvers and, silvers and bronzes, but yeah, and I had some mixed feelings about this squad when I played with it, but you'll see you'll hear my opinions on it at the end so let's go straight into it it's basically like a belgium slash english premier league slash um i guess league one um hybrid i mean not you'll see in a minute um it's quite it's got quite a few different players in it but and by the way it's actually fully in form so if you like that kind of thing i personally don't but if you do then this is good for you so in goal we have got mr courtois Belgium goalkeeper from Atletico Madrid. And if I see him play, um, <clears throat> I watch the Spanish league occasionally. Um, he seems good. He's also he's actually from Chelsea. He's just loaned out, but he seems good. He, he seems a good goalkeeper. Um, he's the best Belgium one. Um, even though Minile is actually um, the Belgium team's first choice goalkeeper, but in FIFA he's the best goalkeeper. So. Um, in centre back we've got Thomas for Marlon. Um actually let me just show you how much quarter costs. He's like twenty two K, so he's quite cheap. And so yeah, for Marlon. He is I would have liked Finks and Company over him, but I didn't have an extra two hundred K to spend, or something like that, so I couldn't. But I'm an Arsenal fan, so I I like company. I mean uh for Marlon. Even if he's a tad bit slow sometimes. Um He's got nice defensive stats. Yeah, that's all that matters. And in left back, we have got Mr. Leighton Baines from Everton. Um, as you can see, he's got solid, solid stats. Oh, by the way, from Ireland costs 60k. I'm going to forget for prices constantly throughout this, but never mind. So in left back, we've got Leighton Baines. He costs about 80k. Um, and he's worth it, I think. I mean, pace, I would like a bit more pace. I like quite pacey full backs, but he's got lovely, lovely stats. He's got a nice free kick, too. He's got 87 defending, which is fantastic for a full back, but he's a good player. Um, let's go to our centre back now. We have got Mr. Vertongen from Ajax. As you can see, he's got some crazy, crazy stats. I mean, he costs. Um, only 90k, 90 odd k, I guess, because he's in like an undesirable league compared to like Premier League, I guess. But anyway, he's fairly cheap for his stats, but I didn't like him too much um, because he's got a high attacking work rate. He, he plays on the offense more than the defense sometimes, which is not what you want from a centre back. If he was like right back, it'd be fantastic, but he's obviously not, so um, he. Often my centre mids and my full backs have to cover for him, but obviously full backs like to go up the pitch, so it can leave you slightly vulnerable on the counter attack. So um, at in right back we have got um, Van der Weel from Ajax. He's just fair to fill up the link with Vertonghen. To be honest, he's he's good centre back. I mean good uh, right back even. He costs only twenty k, so fairly good. He's got. Quite a nice pace, not so good defending stats, but he does the job. So in the left centre mid, we're going to put Mr. Dembele from Fulham. Team of the season, as you can see. Um, he's possibly the weakest link in this team. He kind of varies the full chemistry with my other players, that kind of thing. But um, he's not fantastic. I mean, his stats, dribbling is his best stat, but he doesn't feel like he's particularly good at dribbling even. Um, it's quite slow. My my centre mids are quite slow to be honest. Um, he's got quite a bad passing, but I don't know. Um, he is only well. He's actually about 45k, which is, in my opinion, far too much for him. But I guess because he's in the Premier League, he's quite expensive. So in the other centre mid, we've got Mr. Fellaini from Everton, and he's been linked to going to Chelsea recently on Sky Sports News this morning. Um, Lovely stats, he's got like 95 long shots too, and he's quite defensive, he's got good defending stats. He's actually a centre attacking mid, his inform card is, but um, I would play him in a CDM position if I could. Um, so it's quite good to see often covers for Vertonghen. 
when he's up for field. So in the other centre mid slot, we have got Johan Kabai from Newcastle. He has had a fantastic season, and his stats are off, awesome, I guess. Um, apart from pace, like I said, the average pace of, um, of these centre mids is like 75, which is a bit too slow. Um, nice stats, as you can see. Nice shot, nice pass. But I'll talk about him later um, at the end. So, we're going to right wing. We have got Mr. Ben Arthur. Atom Ben Arthur. He's only got. I've only got his first in form, so I couldn't quite budget his second in form because um, my big man, which is coming a second, costs too much. But, um, yeah, first in form is probably fine. He is. Oh, I forgot to actually. Um, Fellaini is 50k. Kabai is 120k and Ben Arthur is 70k and his inform is like 180k so I couldn't quite um, go more than double his first informs price so yeah nice stats I didn't get to use him too much he kind of drifted out of the game a, a bit like I tried to get some I mean his, apparently his finesse is fantastic I didn't get a chance to use it and exploit it too much but I don't know I don't know so in striker we have got Marseille Maestro, which is Remy, as he pops up slowly. I don't know why he's lagging a bit. Um, again, first in form, Remy, because I couldn't afford his second in form one. But nice pace, fairly good shots, nice heading. Not too much to say about him. He's he's probably not the best striker. I would have liked Benzema, or but I don't think he would link with um, my left wing, which is actually he costs. 30k, so he's one of the cheapest players here. Um, left wing, we have got for big, big, big boy, Mr. Hazard, um, the new Chelsea player. I think it it will be um, once the window opens. So, obviously, he is the most expensive player here. 270k of not so godliness, to be perfectly honest. I didn't enjoy using him whatsoever. I mean, his stats are absolutely insane. I mean, I probably could have got for I could have probably could have gone for Mirrorless to be honest, but I went for him, which is uh, I don't know. I wanted to try him out. I didn't think it would. I want yeah. I wanted to obviously try him out in this squad, but for me, he just got pushed off a ball far too easily. I mean, he's, he reminds me a bit of Messi. I've only used Messi once, but he's got something like 60 strength, which is. Uh, you know it can be okay, but for him personally, he's not fantastic. Um, so all in all, I think this team is a lovely hybrid. But whether it's actually a good team to play with, it's up to you to decide. It's about 850k in total, I think. Um, it's off the top of my head, but I don't know. Um, I think the handicap definitely exists here. I think the handicap is probably more psychological but it definitely does come into play. I mean Kabai has got ninety passing but his through balls are like a wank stain on a sunny day. So um yeah like it would go straight over Remy's head. Remy is six foot tall, I mean it shouldn't go over his head and through balls kept going straight into defenders' feet and it just felt sluggish and bad. I mean it would be interesting to see what it's like with the normal cards, but personally, I did not enjoy playing this team. I didn't get any clips. I played like five matches, one, maybe two out of five matches, which is awful. I usually win, yeah, like, for example, like four out of five if I'm playing with a silver team or something like that, but I don't know. Um, it's a nice, pacey team apart from the midfield, but for me, it just didn't seem that good. I mean, form your own opinions about it but you know I fell vulnerable to the handicap um, so yeah I will make more of these probably not so many fully informed teams because I just didn't enjoy playing with this team um, I plan to do a live con with it but I did it and it was just awful so um, for now please like comment sub um, follow my twitter that kind of stuff so for now thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace